Welcome you back again to Ask Endocrinology channel. I am Dr. Grace and with me is Dr. Hope. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us again. Yes. So we welcome all our new subscribers and uh, all our previous subscribers and followers. We love you all. Thank you for joining us in this platform. For those who are new, this is a platform where we talk about our health and how to stay healthy. So we are endocrinologists and our goal is to reach out to everyone regarding how to maintain a good health, especially in relation to our hormones. So you are in the right place if you are joining us today. Share and like with your friends. If you haven't clicked the notification button, you yes. can always do so and subscribe, share with your friends. I promise you, you will always learn many things here, especially how to stay healthy. Remember, the more you know, the better you are. Yes. So today we are going to talk about why you should exercise. What is the need for exercise? Can it actually affect my health? I want you to stay to the end of this video because we're going to tell you actually that if you do exercise, you have tendency to actually live longer. So stay tuned. I'm going to release now to Dr. Hope to tell us more about what exercises and what kind and what can we do, you know, to, to, to live healthy. So over to you, Dr. Hope. All right. Thank you, Dr. Grace. So exercise so what is exercise right exercise is basically performing physical activity there are different types of exercise there's aerobic exercise and strength training exercises so aerobic exercise involves walking so just walking um in moderate activity uh, moderate walking is a form of exercise running bike riding swimming dance or sports so performing at least 150 minutes of aerobic activity uh, is a recommended exercise uh, that will help maintain proper health. Um, additionally, strength training exercise is recommended. So it's recommended that all muscle groups um, should have some type of weight or resistance uh, training at least two times a week. And this information is taken from uh, Mayo Clinic uh, review uh, that we have uh, looked at. So what are some of the other benefits of exercise? So there's some immediate benefits. Some immediate benefits to your children involve improved thinking, improved cognition. That helps your children think better, um, clearer, and that, that is a significant benefit of exercise. For adults, there are reduced feelings of anxiety um, and decreased risk of depression as well. And it also improves sleep in adults. So those are some of the immediate benefits of exercise. What are the long-term benefits? So weight management, that's, a, that's a, a one that we all like, right? Controlling our weight. So again, if we get that at least 150 minutes, of uh, aerobic activity in, and even more weight loss can be achieved with 300 minutes of aerobic activity. Um, that can help control our weight. There are additional benefits that are related to our health specifically, such as improving or preventing certain diseases, such as diabetes, uh, blood pressure control, decreased risk of stroke, heart disease, and um, Many types of cancers as well can be decreased with uh, exercise. So those are some of the benefits, some of the long-term benefits of exercise. And Grace is going to talk to us about some of the other benefits, long-term benefits of exercise. Yes, actually, that was very, very awesome, Dr. Hope. Yes. I, and uh, we know there are many, many health benefits for you to do exercise. And like she said, there are different types of exercise you can do and you just have to start 
and do it. So other benefits is that it improves your overall well-being. Maybe you don't even have any medical health conditions. You are strong. You are doing well, and you want to maintain this well uh, well-being. Yes, exercise is very good for you, and uh, it improves your sleep. It improves your mental uh, thinking. You know, it's it, it boosts you to even your sex life, and it helps you overall. So if you uh, do exercise regularly and consistent your overall well-being is improved and uh, number four uh, is that it can also help you uh, to strengthen your bone and your muscles this especially if you're an adult if you're above age 40 or 50 you know so as we age we tend to have a weak bone and that could be because uh, if you have ever heard about osteoporosis or osteopenia and what we always advise as well to treat this or to, to prevent further breaking of your bone is to do muscle strengthening exercise. And uh, as Dr. Hope has mentioned, so this muscle strengthening exercise is very good to strengthen your bone. And the last one, it increases your lifespan. If you do exercise, I have uh, something here written by the CDC, and I'm going to read it out for you, uh, how it actually helps to improve your overall lifespan, like it increases your longevity. It says, an estimated 100,000 deaths per year could be prevented if U.S. adults ages 40 and older increase their moderate to vigorous physical activity by a small amount even yeah. 10 minutes more a day would make a difference did you see that and then he said taking more steps a day also helps lower the risk of premature death from all causes for adults younger than 60 the risk of premature death leveled off at about 8000 to 10,000 steps per day. So all you need to do is do 8,000 to 10,000 steps per day if you are an adult younger than 60. Now, if you are an adult uh, older than 60, the risk of premature death leveled off at about 6,000 to 8,000 steps per day. So just taking steps, just moving around your house, walking around your neighborhood, taking steps instead of using the elevator, you use the staircase. Instead of parking close to where you're going, you park far away a bit so you can count more steps. All these things add up to preventing you from getting old so quickly. And you look younger and you live healthier. So these are very, very good benefits for you. So uh, what are the take-home points today? Take-home point for us is that one, exercise has a lot of benefits. It helps prevent you from having medical conditions or even helping your medical conditions to be reversed or make it better instead of getting worse. It helps you maintain your weight. You can do better with your weight management, your overall well-being, you live long, and there are different kinds of exercises as you've learned. And also, key note, don't forget this. If you want to start a new exercise program, please inform your healthcare professional. It is important that they are aware that you want to start a new exercise program so they can guide you accordingly. And um, if you have also medical conditions, before you start any new exercise program, inform your healthcare professional. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Share, like, and comment. Put your comment below. Let us know what you think about this and what challenge you might, you are facing with doing exercise thank you so much for joining us